My dear friend in Christ, my mother was anxiously waiting for her son to return after the war was over. He telephoned her and said that he's coming home, and she joyfully welcomed him. But he interrupted, asking, "Mom, I'm bringing my friend along with me. Could he stay with us for some time?" The mother joyfully welcomed the proposal. The son continued, "But, Mom, I just like to let you know that this friend of mine." has lost both his legs in the war and we will have to assist him around the mother after little pause replied son it's going to be very difficult taking care of him you know what a tough time it will be for us and then the son put the phone down the son never returned home at all because it was he who has lost both his legs he had no friend with him My dear friend in Christ he felt he would be a burden if he returned home he never felt he would receive the love that he wanted at home my dear friend in Christ true love requires great courage and a spirit of sacrifice jesus symbolically presenting himself as a good shepherd expresses the extent of what love is he declared i am the good shepherd The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. John chapter 10 verse 11. And then he says there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. John chapter 15 verse 13. Think about what St Paul explains. He explains the abundance of God's love for each of us saying God has poured out his love into our hearts. My dear friend in Christ when we don't become conscious of that love we tend to become unloving or less prone to love and care for others a man was hanging an announcement on a tree announcing the sale of seven puppies a little boy watching him asked him how much a puppy would cost but looking at the appearance of the boy the man said i don't think you can afford to buy a puppy each one would cost you 2000 rupees do you have that money the boy became sad his countenance fell he looked at the man in great disappointment for a while with tears rolling down his cheeks and he said sir i just have a few coins left with me can i at least look at them with this money after little hesitation the man rolled up the kennel calling out the puppies one by one by name out came the cute looking puppies all looking like wonderful balls of cotton but the seventh puppy did not come out the man called again and then there came that little puppy limping physically challenged dragging herself towards the man the boy immediately picked up that puppy kissed it ignoring all the other six puppies Then the man curiously asked the boy why he was so interested only in this puppy which was an handicap which was physically challenged. The boy gently lifted up his pants and showed the man that he had no legs. He was using artificial limbs and he said, "Sir, only this puppy can understand my pain and I can just understand her pain." Deeply touched by the boy's words, the man offered the puppy for free think about this my dear friend in christ true love is putting ourselves in the place of others and understanding the struggles and the pain they go through in life jesus did it for us he wants us to do it for others may you have a good and godly day